We found a new keto bar in Aldi. So we're going to review them. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday we go live on Keto on the Couch where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we find something in Aldi, you'll be alerted to it. So recently I was in Aldi, actually a while ago I was in Aldi, right. we've been sitting on the shelf for a while. Uh, I found these Elevation Keto Bars. I think I actually showed them in the video when I was vlogging when I found them because I had another one as well. And uh, that one didn't interest me as much as this one because this is salted caramel pecan. Mm, that sounds good. Caramel or caramel? Caramel. Caramel, and then pecan or pecan? Pecans. So uh, yeah, so interesting. It's got both those words in here. So I grabbed these and they looked interesting. They're saying three net carbs. Now, listen, I, I'm not super like going they bet you they're the greatest ingredients in the world. It's Aldi. It's Aldi. But it's cheap. I was going to say, it's cheap. And finding things that are keto snack foods that are cheap, not easy to do. Yeah. And one of the things that's good about that is if you're on the road, uh, maybe you're just looking for something for your kids to get them away from the candy bars. Yeah. And you want to find something a little bit better. And anything labeled keto is probably gonna be better than buying a Hershey bar. Right. It may not be the greatest if you like long-term super strict keto, but it's gonna be better than a Hershey bar for our kids. I was gonna say, I'd much rather see this in a school lunch. So like, you wanna try it first? Yeah. So there's four bars in here, I think. We opened up the box on a live stream, but we have not tried them yet. So we yeah. have four bars. I do like the nice bright color. Yeah, nice packaging. Okay, so, ooh. They're covered. Oh, wow. Those look like a kudos. Remember the kudos bars? So it looks like there's little pieces of pecan on top. Actual there's chocolate drizzle. Actual real nuts. I chocolate can see down on the bottom and it's not gooey. Yeah. So. All right. Ready? Dink. Hmm. That's got a good flavor. Very nice. Very mapley. Yeah. Mm. Wow. That's very tasty. You know what it reminds me of flavor-wise? What? The pecan logs that we would get at Stucky's when we were kids. Absolutely. Right? We grew up nice 1,300 miles away, but we both grew up on Stucky's. Oh, yeah. Because I would drive down here and we had to stuck. That's what they taste like, right? Mm. It's got that. Mm. Got a nice chew to it. The texture mm. is good. It's, it's not crumbly. It's like a mushy kind of, it doesn't I get, can't explain it. It doesn't get stuck in your teeth. It's got like a nice caramelly type of flavor to raw it. Raw cookie dough texture. Yes, there you go. There you go, raw right? Cookie raw dough. cookie dough texture. That's delicious. I, I'm not disappointed by that. Mm, five five things? things? Five things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one is the ingredients. Again, I don't have a lot of confidence in it being yeah. the cleanest ingredients. Mm -hmm. Number one ingredient is almond flour. All right. I'm pretty excited about that. Pleasantly actually. surprised. Then we have dark chocolate flavored coating, which is whey protein concentrate, polydextrose, palm kernel oil, cocoa processed with alkali, non-fat milk powder, soy less than salt, natural flavor, and sucralose. Wait a second, that is just the chocolate. Yeah. Like at first, when I just saw, when I read polydextrose, I was like, Ugh. Yeah, 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 me too. It's not like the greatest, it's not horrible, it's a filler, not the greatest. But the polydextrose is the chocolate. So it's not the overall bar. You can look, the, the chocolate is a very small part of the bar. Yeah. So that kind of elevated it a little bit for me. I'm surprised. Okay. So then we've got erythritol, which really another surprise because I don't get any erythritol flavor. No cooling, cooling effect. effect. 
coconut oil, soluble tapioca fiber, coconut flour, vegetable glycerin, sunflower seed butter, which is sunflower seeds and salt, pecans, natural flavors, flaxseed meal, water, sea salt, sunflower lexicon, mixed toast for alls, and stevia. All right. A lot of ingredients, but pretty clean. Uh, the two questionable things that I think a lot of people would have would be the soluble tapioca fiber, which is in a, pretty much all bars. Yeah. It's gonna come down to how much fiber is in this. Right. And to whether they're playing a fiber game. Are they adding that to sweeten it, or which I don't think they are because there's other sweeteners. Well, and it's not got that it's really not that gooey, gooey yeah. like it's gonna break your teeth. I, I can't stand it when a bar will say, no sweeteners added, but then it's got like 20 grams of soluble tapioca fiber. Right. Well, you're kind of fibbing a little bit. Um, and the only other ingredient that somebody may question would be the vegetable glycerin, which is technically a sugar alcohol. Um, but I'm good with it, especially for something like this. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? I'm gonna eat my other half. Yeah, so a bar is 180 calories, 15 total uh, fat, six protein, 15 total carbs. That's good. Not surprising, but this is surprising. Only six grams of fiber. So they are not trying to play the fiber game. And then there's six sugar alcohol. So they're saying that it's three net carbs. I would just use the total carb protocol is mm -hmm. what I would do with this. And just know that this is not something that you're gonna eat every day, but definitely something to switch out any of the bars that you would pack in a school lunch, or if you're on the road this summer, well, would be nice. Even when you get into that nutrition label, I'm okay taking out sugar alcohols. Uh, but again, I always have a total carb cap so that I don't eat two or three yeah. of these bars. Uh, the fiber, I'm pretty excited about the fiber. Now, the total carbs, that's like my middle to upper level of a bar. I don't like to go over like 17, 18 grams. I, you see some of them as low as 10 or 11 or 12. I'm right. really happy there. 15 is a good place to be. Six grams of fiber is really good, especially when you consider the number one ingredient is almond flour. Yes. There's also coconut flour, both of which have fiber. So they're not pumping in a bunch of fiber. And that makes me even more excited with the polydextrose, the fact that it's just part of that chocolate. They're not, there's not a lot of that in there. I'm really, really good with that, especially considering what this is and also where we're getting it from. Yeah, right? exactly. We talked about like, Quality of ingredients based on, to, to compared to price. So number three, how do they taste? I am super impressed with the I taste of these. Like I could surprised. buy these. I am very surprised that they are the, this tasty. If you're, you or your kids like kind of like that maple type of pecan type taste, I think you'll really enjoy them. It does have a raw cookie dough um, texture to it. Which does not disappoint me. Very, very nice, easy to chew, doesn't get stuck in your teeth, doesn't cut the roof of your mouth, doesn't crumble everywhere. We've got like one little crumble here, but it's an actual nut. Right. Which is really nice. So as far as taste, here's where I'm gonna go. A lot of times we buy them, we bought this with our own money. A lot of times I go to the store, I find these things, I buy them. We sample them in either A, we give them to our nephews or Rachel's mom, or B, if it's really bad, we toss it in the garbage yeah. and chalk it up as tax deduction, waste of money. <laughs> we don't want anybody else to buy that. Right. These are not going away. Like no. I will finish this box and I definitely can see myself buying more. Mm -hmm. Even though we buy a lot of keto things, like as far as taste wise, this is up there with like perfect keto bars. Listen, nothing's gonna beat the Nola bar on me. No. Um, but that's a completely different type of thing. Like the texture, everything. I really like the texture and I'm really impressed with the taste. I'm really impressed with it. How much are they? So number four, how much do they cost? Are you ready for that? Yes. When I picked these up in Aldi. Okay. They were $5.50 a box. So not even $2 a bar. And that's like what, a dollar thirty, dollar thirty-three a bar? That is crazy. When you consider most of the bars out there. Go buy a Quest bar. Oh, yes. In a gas station. Anything in a gas station, you're two, three dollars minimum. I think yeah. Quest bars are over three dollars. But even the stuff you buy online, you're usually looking at 250 to 350 per bar. Yeah. The NOLA bars, you can usually get down in that $2 range, especially when you use our discount code, but N Nola not bars in a store. are more tasty, but they also cost more money. So right. this is really nice as like a snack for a kid, 
for you during the week, if you are going on a vacation and you want something to pack along, I think that if you put this in a cooler, you're really gonna be pleasantly surprised at how it holds up, you know, in the in the sunshine. Like this is a great beach day thing to bring along. Well, you mentioned kids, you know, how many of Crazy. us, I know we did it all the time, would get like, you know, granola bars, things like that, thinking we were being healthier for our kids. Oh, absolutely. Here is a healthy option put for our kids. Put it in the mom fanny pack. And I don't think any kid is gonna, if, if I was willing to part with these, I would go give them to my <laughs> nephews. Uh, because I don't think any kid is gonna eat this and be like, yo, yeah, no. mom and dad are giving me health food because no. it honestly tastes like a candy bar. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Very, very tasty. Is this like artisanal? ingredients in here that like super bougie no they're not but the price is right yeah so we had that let's talk about number five uh would we recommend it a and you're talking about ingredients honestly i'm impressed with the ingredients I'm surprised. especially for the price yeah so yeah the chocolate coating isn't like the it's not just pure chocolate they're using um like a whey protein con they're basically making a chocolate coating they're not using just regular chocolate first. But again, when you look at the price, I'm good with that. And again, for something that you can buy on the road, we're driving to KetoCon. When I think about like, hey, what can we get? I can stop pretty much anywhere. Almost everyone's got all these at this point. Uh, you can buy them if you run out of something. They're great for your kids. People talk about, how do I get my kids to switch over to keto? Yeah. Products like this, yeah, right? This, this is a good way to go. What about you? Would you recommend them? I would absolutely recommend them. I think that this is a great swap out for the bars that we get kids. Absolutely. The price is right, which is why I've got more sanctuary for ingredients. When you've got a good price, I know what I'm getting, mm -hmm. right? Going into it. And I just think that this is gonna be super convenient to grab and go. If you are comfortable eating a Quest Bar, then I think that this is a, a more reasonably priced option. And better ingredients. Yeah. I think we're gonna to have to try out the other flavor. Let us know down in the comment section if you tried these. Uh, I don't know if there's any other flavors of these particular kind, but mm -hmm. I will look the next time I go to Aldi. Let us know down in the comment section, are there any other bars that you can get in local stores that we should try yeah. out? If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over there. Also, let's take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we find something new, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.